Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your ballet blonde, fancy dress. Decked out in your macabre fair finery? Yes, I am. I want you to tell my audience you are responsible for a very famous film. Well, you know, we got we got a couple films on the board. Resurrecting Carrie was actually screened here last year. That was the, in the spring, right? Yes, that was at the third annual macabre fair film festival. That was basically a hybrid of uh, Stephen King's book, Brian De Palma's film, and Dean Pitchford and Michael Gore's uh, cult musical. Piper Laurie is a part of it. And I know how exciting that she was a part of this very exciting new film. Yeah, it, it, it was a really wonderful chance to merge several facets of Carrie together in one little short piece of, uh, you know. Piece of work. A, 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 film a nice piece of artwork that you did. Now, I understand you're responsible for another wonderful film that is going to be screening this weekend at the Macar Film Festival. Tell my audience what that film is and explain the synopsis of the film. Well, Karniak, it's a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> it's called Jan Broberg's Guide to Thespians, Sociopaths, and Scream Queens. Oh Say God. that 10 times fast. Forget it, I can't. And, so tell my audience about this well, you extraordinary know, film. My good friend Jan Broberg, I've known for many years, uh, we did a national tour together many years ago when I was an actor, and um, it was then many years ago that I heard about her story uh, having been kidnapped twice when she was 12 years old by a trusted family friend who brainwashed her and did some horrible things to her. She was rescued after, you know, a four-year-long ordeal. She was kidnapped twice, um, so she's she's really been through the ringer on many levels, but has really come out swinging literally very strong woman um, has worked very successfully as an actor it turns out she gets this great role opposite Elijah Wood in Frank Calhoun's main another fabulous role. actress yeah uh, uh, Frank Calhoun is a, a wonderful filmmaker who just did a maniac remake uh, maniac who a lot of horror lovers may know was a huge cult hit in 1980 
and uh, Frank Calhoun recently remade it with Elijah Wood starring in the lead role. And my friend Jan has a great role opposite uh, Elijah Wood in this film, playing the victim of a sociopathic serial killer. Oh my very, God! Very similar to what her real life situation was. So my mini doc um, kind of just parallels her two stories and and showcases what a bizarre you know situation she was forced to endure and how she's really proactively come out swinging you know as not only as an actor but as um, as somebody that's been able to take a lot of crap that life has thrown in, in her in her path and and uh, you know be a survivor no that's such a long title though why what it how did you come up title. with that title so long like that uh, you know, it, it was, uh, it's a labor of love piece, so, you know, Jan Broberg's Guide to Thespians, Sociopaths, and Scream Queens. I are think there any Scream Queens? Yeah, do, is, are, are there any Scream Queens, famous Scream Queens in, in well, the Well, Jan Broberg, Bro, Jan Broberg is in her own right actually becoming quite a Scream Queen, and when you see the, the mini doc, uh, you know, she's got a lot of history to draw upon, and has got one hell of a scream, so... Okay, she's going to join the royalty of Scream Queens. Adrian Barbeau, Fay Ray, Janet Lee. Jamie Lee, Lee, who Jamie I, Lee I interviewed yes. Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh I, my gosh. I interviewed her at Fashion Week. She was coming out of a big hotel, and I was going into a fashion show, and she took one look at me, and I took one look at her, and I said, Jamie, was, come over here. I had to, we got to do an interview, you know? That's wonderful. And she's so delightful to talk to, and uh, now she's so, she's a philanthropist besides being a famous actress. She says she's taking a break from Hollywood for a while. Do you have a website besides YouTube for this film? Is there a website? Yeah, I'm at michaelstever.net. Um, Michael Stever, like Steve with an R on the end, dot net. Um, and they can and also they can, see it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, they can just uh, YouTube uh, Jan Broberg, Michael Stever, uh, and you'll probably find a link to it, or Resurrecting Carrie, you'll find a link to it very easily. Well, thank you so much, thank darling. Thank you, Kanye. And congratulations on being at the Macaw Film Festival. You're going to give me a kiss goodbye? Fifth annual, of course. Mwah, mwah. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews, more celebrities right here at the Macabre Film Festival. Pink champagne kisses. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Macabre Film Festival for opening night, and I'm on the red carpet with Eileen Deep. The part of the demon that possessed Reagan. So you played the demon. I played you were the demon. You were the actress that played the demon, yeah, not yeah. Linda Blair. Well, Linda Blair played Reagan. You know, she played the little girl, of course, she did. And I was made up to look like Reagan, and I did a lot of the possession scenes in the movie. Um, they, when, I inha when I inhabited her when things came out, like the vomiting and the masturbation scenes and the levitation. So that was not Linda Blair, that was you. That was me. Now tell my audience. But Linda did a whole lot in the movie, of course. Oh, of course, she's an actress. She was the part. That yeah, I mean, she was played the little girl in the beginning and the end. Yes. And a lot of the stuff. We shared a lot of the possession scenes. So. And obviously you're the same height. Yeah, that was part of the audition. I actually wrote a book called Exercising My Demons, .net, um, but Exercising My Demons, 
and after you find out how I became an actress and how I got to be in the scariest movie of all time and the ups and it downs. It is the scariest so, movie of all time. Yeah. It's so very. But you'll find out about the audition that I did and meeting Dick Smith, like you yes, just said. Yes, I wanted to ask being you the right that. size. And of course, when he auditioned you for the part, the eye color probably had to be the same. The hair color had to be the no, same. No, the hair color didn't. I wore a wig. Oh, you did wear and a I wig. I actually taped up my nose because her nose is a little more pub. We had to be about the same size and the same build. And then um, I had to know how to act, and I actually did a screen test for it. Wow. How many years ago was that? A long time ago. Long, long time ago. In the 70s. Yeah. Now, how did you find out about this role? Well, again, read my book, Exercising My Demons. I was doing a play called Ontological Proof of My Existence, which means there is no proof, by Joyce Carol Oates, who generally writes about wrestling and stuff like that. She's pretty famous. And I did a play of hers at a little theater called the Cabiculo in New York City, because uh, I grew up in New York City. And an agent saw me there and asked me if I wanted to audition for the part. And I met the casting director, and I went home and I read the book, and I came back and uh, auditioned for it, did a screen test, met everybody, went to Dick Smith's lab um, so he could make a life mask. And it was a whole um, step by step by step before I actually got the part. And that's why doubles don't do that. Your, your a role in the film was very significant and you were cast. Especially that black and white face, the black and white face that jumps out of you. Oh my God! That I did that scared too. me to death. And I'm that, telling you right that's now. That's become really the trademark of the movie. Let me ask you, uh, uh, Eileen, was the film being in the film? What kind of an experience was that for you? Did you enjoy it was being playing fun? Yeah. Was that it real? I had done um, oh a PBS special before that. I'd done a couple soap operas. I did one or two small films, but this was a big film, and I got yes. to work with Max Van Sydow who I had seen foreign films before that. Yes. And, um, that I brilliant actor, brilliant, brilliant actor. And so nice, so nice. And now he's grown into his makeup. Yeah. That's, That's true. And um, is he still, he's not alive, he's still oh, alive? he's still working. Are you kidding me, yeah. really, he's still I can't alive? Remember the, I, I can't re remember the names of the films he was in, but no, he's still working. Now, what about Linda Blair? Do you keep in touch with her? Never did. Um, she she does her thing. I do my thing. We don't even do conventions together. What's just, next for you, Eileen? What's up? Well, what are you up I've, to now? I've got six independent films since May, just one after the other after the other, and uh, I'm going to shoot a short film this week in Staten Island, and um, I'm reading three scripts. Well, good for you, yeah. darling. For a film called Abaddon that I shot in June. It's a prequel to Hansel and Gretel, and it's just a marvelous film. So I hope everybody that watches this looks for Abaddon. I certainly will. Now tell my audience where we can find out more information about you. Do you have a website? Um, uh, well, first of all, I'm, I know I'm pushing it, but if you want to find out everything about me, go to www.exercisingmydemon.net, and you can buy the book. If you pay PayPal on it and not Amazon, uh, I can autograph it for you and send it to you in two days. Good, that's, PayPal. that's uh, nice to know. You go to EileenDietz.com and you go to Facebook on my fan page. I'm everywhere. <laughs> Facebook Fast. is Eileen Dietz. And for sure, get in touch with me, be my friend, like my fan page. And um, yeah, you find out all about me. And I have a film playing here at the Macabre Fair Festival too. And as we say in show business, Break a leg. Ow! Oh, oh, excuse me, I gotta fix my leg. Give me a kiss, doll. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at the Macaw Film Festival. Keep watching Pink yeah, Champagne come on Kisses. In Rockville Center. Come on down. Come on down. Pink Champagne Kisses. <laughs> Been a crybaby productions, darlings.